Hey guys, welcome back to Secret Scroll Garage. I'm gonna do a little uh, video shop vlog. Unfortunately, we've still got quite a few things on back order and life's been a little crazy with family issues. My wife's little brother unfortunately got into an accident, so he's in the hospital. So just a lot of things taking up time and not having a lot of time to do car stuff but interior is pretty much all back together i still need to do some seat belts got his shifter put in trimmed up up here we got the fuel system kind of trying to stick to that a little bit more old vintage look under the hood rather than going with AN fittings, stuff like that. But all of that's done. Fan wiring is all done. Got that in, just started working on the exhaust. You can see here. Got that close to being done. Got a get some mounts made up so that it'll hold in place and then do the rest over the axle. As for the shop truck, the SSG mullet, did get a little more work done on that. You can see here, I've got the first initial mock-up of the roll pan in place, as you can see on the bottom there. Still needs some work. It's just in primer. We'll get the rest of that before we uh, do the painting. Rear end, getting that all cleaned up, ready to put back together, get the bare brakes on it. Did find a nice 5.7 liter Vortec to put it in the truck. This one has been rebuilt. And as you can see, it's a little dirty. It's been sitting around for a few years, unfortunately, but inside, which I'll show you in a different video, it's actually a really nice clean motor to replace the 305 in the truck. And then the coolest thing I picked up, is this little tub of goodies, just kind of hidden. down there a little sneak peek that'll be the Whipple charger that's going on the truck and the 5.7 and still waiting on back order for the QA1 front suspension probably me and a whole lot of other people no idea when that'll be uh, getting here see a couple of parts waiting to go on still waiting on a clip so I can put the speedometer cable in and just need to get it mocked up for the overflow tank for the radiator that'll pretty much be it under the hood uh other than bleeding the brakes replacing all the fluids since they, it's set for a while and then we should be hopefully starting the jaguar kit car up here in the next few weeks as soon as i can get the owner He's got one more part he needs to bring me, and then we will uh, do a little start up on that. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate everybody that has joined over the last, headed towards that 100 subscriber mark. So please subscribe, like, comment below. If there's anything you'd like to see a little more on, let me know. And I hope you guys have a blessed week, and we'll talk to you later.